Lock is where the Royal Canal enters County Mead from County Kildare. It is also known as the 17th Lock or McLaughlin's Lock. And it is the last double chamber lock before the canal enters the Long Level, which is a stretch where the canal is at a level for 32 kilometers. Near here uh, is the uh, Rye River, which rises in Ahar and which feeds into the Royal Canal and afterwards joins the River Liffey. Ferns Lock Railway Station was located adjacent to the canal and opened in 1848. Elizabeth, or Sissy, Empress of Austria, leased nearby Summerhill House as a hunting lodge in 1879 and 1880. She arrived by train to Ferns Lock Station. Sissy managed to hunt nearly every day. She sheltered from some bad weather during a hunt in Minute Seminary and then presented a gift of a three-foot-high statue of St. George slaying the dragon. She was unaware that St. George was the patron saint of England, and when she was told of its significance, she ordered a fresh present, shamrock-covered vestments from Dublin. Just outside Ferns Lock, there is a ring fort just north of the canal path at Old Town. A ring fort is a defensive feature and they were used as family homes and farmsteads from the Bronze Age up until 1000 AD. This ring fort is barely visible through a gap in the trees. On the land sloping away from the south bank of the canal can be seen the stone wall which surrounds Kilater churchyard. This has a ruined church uh, hole and a holy well dedicated to St. Patrick. On the south bank, you can pick out the original 23 mile marker for the canal. This measures the distance not from the River Liffey, but rather from Broadstone. Across the canal is the townland of Kilbrook and the Old Bog Road. Theresa Brayton, who was born in Kilbrook in 1868, wrote the poem The Old Bog Road. Today, the traditional Irish cultist group in Enfield is named in her honour. Brayton died in 1943 and is buried in Cloncarry graveyard where a seven foot high Celtic cross was erected over her grave. The path now passes through a wood in the townland of Ardrums Great. The canal passed through Kappa Bog here and construction of this part of the canal was a very laborious and expensive undertaking because the sides kept slipping and the bottom swelling up. Here at Cloncurry, we have uh, an Anglo-Norman Mott. This was one of the first types of castles to be built here in Ireland. It consisted of an earthen mound topped with a timber castle. And this was built by Adam de Hereford uh, in the 1170s here. And he also founded a church which he gave to uh, the control of St. Thomas's Abbey in Dublin and there was also a manorial village here as well. At the centre of the graveyards is the remains of a 15th century church which has been rebuilt as a mausoleum for the Aylmer family. At the entrance of the gate there is a watch house and in the 18th and early 19th century this allowed relatives to keep watch on loved ones graves to protect against grave robbers. Thank you.